Well, that's how it all began. It started with dances on TikTok that went, what else, viral. And now these twins on the Fresno State women's basketball team are about to get paid for all that because of a historic decision by the NCAAs uh, that they made that yesterday, allowing college athletes to make money on their image and likeness. CBS reporter Mo Lange on how the sisters are blazing a trail in the new world of college sports. Dang, this is crazy. <laughs> Just after midnight, college basketball stars Hannah and Haley Cavender found out they scored their first endorsement deal. All right, your contract was successfully signed. Cavender Twins times Boost Mobile. <laughs> the Twins, who play for Fresno State, received a deal with the cell phone company Boost Mobile. Just this opportunity is insane, and it's just so exciting for both Hannah and I. Now it's Hannah Cavender to her sister Haley. Player of the year in the Mountain West, stepping back, five-point game. The twins are not just stars on the court, but on TikTok, where they post videos for their more than three million followers. This is something that we've been super passionate about for a couple years now, just making content and like starting our own brand. So I think it's just super exciting to see that you can obviously monetize it now. The Cavenders are now among other top college athletes who are hoping to turn their popularity into profit. Under the NCAA's new policy, student athletes can earn money for things like social media posts, appearances, autograph signings, and endorsements. The policy is temporary until Congress approves a federal bill, which is now in development. What does this mean for female student athletes? It's going to be huge for female athletes. Nicole Auerbach is a college sports reporter at The Athletic. She says with limited opportunities for female college athletes to play professionally, the new rules will open doors. This is, for a lot of them, the window where they can make the most money and that they're the most marketable. So I think you're going to see, A, them be able to cash in on that while, you know, they are associated with their college programs and they are getting those eyeballs. The NCAA was under increasing pressure to allow athletes to earn money, especially after the U.S. Supreme Court recently unanimously ruled the organization could not cap education-related benefits. Oh, oh, hold up, hold up. For the Cavender twins, who for years have been sharpening their skills on the court and building their brand online, the opportunity to turn a profit is a whole new ballgame. Basketball and school comes first, but it's also really cool to think that we can work with companies on the side and be able to set ourselves up for success. Mola Lange, CBS News, New York. In some cases, universities are prohibiting athletes from signing endorsements that don't follow their honor code. One example, BYU says athletes can't enter into agreements with companies that sell coffee or alcohol.